Hey everyone, this is Mike with Apple Box Cinema, and today I want to share a little story with you. It's a cautionary tale about the time I almost lost an entire year's worth of client work. Never forget. Like many of you, probably, I often wonder what is the best way to manage all of my storage, right? Cameras keep getting better, file sizes keep getting bigger, so the old 500 gigabyte rugged drive is just not gonna cut it anymore. Now, don't get me wrong, obviously these drives are still super handy to have. We use them all the time to transfer big files, and since we don't have an office that we all work out of, we use them to pass a project from one editor to another. But ultimately, I mean, we can fill up a single one of these 500 gigabyte drives in one or two projects, and that's just not sustainable. So. We started purchasing larger drives. First it was two terabytes and then it was four terabytes. Now, in my heart, I always knew it was important to buy two of these drives so that I could regularly back up all of the data. In my brain, I just assumed everything would be fine and I didn't really worry about it. And then it happened. I plugged the drive into my computer and I got an error message. I plugged it into another computer, same thing. I plugged it into yet another computer and I realized that my nightmare had become a reality. On this drive, was eight months and 10 clients worth of work that was not properly backed up. Some of the projects had been backed up, some had been completed, but a significant handful of these projects only existed on this hard drive. So um, I had a little bit of a, of a heart attack. I panicked for about an hour. I thought, uh, yeah, maybe I'll just move. I'll leave everything behind. I'll start a whole new life. Um, but I realized that uh, I really, I had to talk to the clients that would have been affected by this. I let them know that I was doing everything in my power to resolve the situation, but if the drive couldn't be recovered, obviously we would reshoot everything at no cost. We ended up having to take the drive to a recovery specialist and pay about $1,300 to salvage the data. Never forget. I keep this drive prominently displayed on my mantle to remind me Hey, don't be a dummy. Back up your data, man. Since that fateful day, I've gotten much better about backing up my hard drives. But if I'm being honest, I'm not entirely sure that we figured out the best storage method. We recently started adding the cost of two 500 gigabyte drives to our client quotes so that each project gets its own drive and its own backup. That way, if for whatever reason, both drives fail, we're only losing the data for that one project and not everything that we've worked on that year. Obviously, that means that eventually we're just gonna be drowning in hard drives and it's gonna get more and more difficult to find the project that we're looking for and that's just gonna slow down our workflow. Last year, Peter McKinnon posted a very similar video about losing a hard drive and uh, uh, to be honest, it's kind of comforting to know that this can happen to anyone. No offense, Peter, uh, but if it can happen to you, it can happen to anybody. Now in his video, he upgraded to a RAID drive with something like 40 terabytes of storage space and a bunch of additional hard drive bays for redundancy. Now that's probably the smartest way to go. It's also about $3,000. I'm a small businessman. I don't have that kind of scratch laying around. But at the end of the day, this piece of gear is just as important as the cameras and the lenses we use, right? If our hard drives are crashing and we're losing an entire year's worth of work, it doesn't matter if the project was shot on a RED and we probably won't be in business much longer. I do find it interesting though, of all the video production professionals that I've met over the past few years, no one has the same solution for storage. Everyone manages their data differently. So it seems like maybe there's not one right method as long as it works for you. So what are your storage solutions? What do you think is the best way to manage increasingly large file sizes and you know not make the same mistake that I made, which would have cost me a ton of future business? I would love to hear your ideas, so leave a comment below and let me know your process. If you're new to the channel, feel free to check out some of the other videos that we've made. Um, follow us on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter at Apple Box Cinema. And if you like the video, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon to get notifications when we post new videos. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next one.